Singapore, air quality is measured by the Pollutant Standards Index or PSI. In the past, PSI only tracks these five pollutants. PM2.5, a subset of PM10, was also tracked as a raw concentration reading, which was reported separately from the PSI. Now, PM2.5 has been converted into a sub-index and incorporated into the PSI. The PSI will be calculated based on the highest reading of any of these six pollutants. So, why are we including PM2.5 into the PSI? PM2.5 is the dominant pollutant in the air during the haze episodes. Like PM10, PM2.5 particles are very small and can penetrate deep into our lungs and some can even enter our bloodstream. Exposure to high PM2.5 levels over a period of a few days can affect your health. Using the air quality indicators Health advisories are based on the 24-hour PSI as it better reflects the health effects of air pollutants on humans. You can use the 24-hour PSI to plan your activities like going to work or going to school. We have also published the 3-hour PSI and 1-hour PM2.5 concentration levels to provide more information to help you make more immediate adjustments to your activities during the day. For example, if the levels of these indicators are high, you may wish to postpone strenuous outdoor activities such as jogging. The 24-hour PSI should always be the main basis for planning activities. How it will impact your health will also depend on your health status, the duration of exposure, and the intensity of activity. You should always consider these factors and be your own judge to make decisions.